Hey, move on here. Ignore the bet. You know what time it is. The man casual drop. When cats break the rules of nature. Bro, for like the past couple days. Bro, I remember I was like watching on um, Netflix. Like I was thinking called Animals on Netflix. One of like the first episodes of like Big Cats. And I just seen this leopard mom just like teach her cub how to like bite the neck. I was like, yo, that is crazy how they legit just be learning how to like, you know what I mean? It's cool to see. And then I thought like, dang, those like, like when, when like, when us be like taking care of like leopards and snow leopards and tigers when they like kids, I'm like, bro, we cannot teach them any of this. Why are we doing this? But at the end of the day, it's not, it's not, not important. <clears throat> just a little small rant. Gonna get straight into this. If you're new, like, comment, subscribe. If you're not new, just keep coming back. Subscribe. But what are you doing? Let's see some big crats break the rules of nature. Is that a wiener dog? Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> All right. Sometimes all it takes is one picture going viral to completely shatter everything we thought we knew about the world. This is one of those pictures. So the story goes, a mother tiger in California tragically lost her cubs to premature labor and the loss left her so depressed that she would barely move and wouldn't eat at all. Worried for her Dang. well-being, zookeepers took five baby pigs, wrapped them in tiger skin, and like only a true mother would, the tiger adopted them all. She would nurse them, eat and sleep with them, and refuse to let them out of her sight. It was your typical Disney feel-good story that warmed the hearts of anyone who saw it. Now, here's where you have a choice. I can <laughs> let you keep believing that story and just leave you with the happy ending. In yeah. which case, you should probably click off this video, drink water, hug your mother, all that good stuff we'll see you in the next one. For the rest of y'all going red pill, just remember, you chose this. So this picture is 100% real, no photoshop, no filter, Th this happened. The story I just told you behind it was completely made up. First of all, this wasn't even taken in California. It was 8,000 miles away in one of the biggest tiger hubs in the world, the Sriracha's. He said it so confidently, like you could believe him. Like, it's like if you don't do your own research, if you say something so confident and have like a whole bunch of just random facts, or just say a bunch of random stuff, but you're saying it confidently, people just believe you on the internet, bro. That's great. Zoo in Pattaya, Thailand. This isn't a wholesome story about a tiger taking the role of swine surrogate. It's actually one of the most unhinged experiments you've never heard of. You oh. see, this zoo wanted to know if they could successfully rewire the nature of a tiger, and they <laughs> did that by having one be raised by a pig. Yeah, they basically decided to play God with a giga-sized Garfield. I mean, this was back in 2004, but it was also 11 years after Jurassic Park. Someone should have known better. So the Sriracha Zoo had a mother pig raise a litter of tiger cubs. The tiger in the viral picture was two-year-old Saimai, and she was actually brought up and nursed by a pig until she was four months old. The whole point was to see if being raised by a pork product could make an apex predator less of a life risk and more docile and from the pictures and videos it would seem like it worked until it didn't it would take years but eventually several claims would come out you know claims of animal mistreatment exploitation and straight up abuse. basically it ended up being one of those places guys would go to to take a selfie with a tiger to put on abuse they were abusing tigers how like, they had to like tie him up and then do it because there's no way you're gonna hit a tiger and he it just take it tinder and i genuinely hope that was the only cat any of y'all ever saw the zoo also had a <laughs> bunch of hands-on stuff you could do with tigers which is probably the biggest red flag a zoo can have if the same strike the lead buttons on stuff you could tinder and i genuinely hope Another that was end up being you know claims of animal mistreatment exploitation talk all over that basically it ended up being one of those places guys would go to to take a selfie with a tiger to put on tinder and I genuinely hope that was the only cat any of y'all ever saw. The zoo also had a bunch of hands-on stuff you could do with tigers, which is probably the biggest red flag a zoo can have. If the same stripe delete button that can solo a walking bicep also sits still for- God damn, they really be hunting those things. Biggest red flag a zoo can have. If the same stripe- Like, look at that. Stripe delete button that can <laughs> solo a walking- Things stronger than Mark Henry. Walking bicep also sits still for a stranger selfie. Start looking left, cause shit ain't right. So to make a long story <laughs> short, if Tiger King would have came out in 2004, Joe Exotic would have been banged. Joe Exotic. There was even an incident where 23 tigers flatlined a bird flu after being fed raw contaminated chicken. And then there's also the fact that one of the zoo owners, Samay Thamsiripong, was charged with breeding tigers without a license. It took a worldwide pandemic to do it, but eventually the zoo closed its doors July 13th, 2021. But whatever happened to Saimai and her foster pigs? Well, 16 years after this picture was taken, another video would go viral. Only this time, it was a now 19-year-old Saimai pouncing 
focusing on one of the piglets and not in a cute playing type of way. The only thing stopping Wilbur from becoming the end of Charlotte's Web was a zookeeper distracting the tiger before a bunch of small children found out where bacon comes from. That video wasn't exactly the nail in the coffin, it was more like the shovel that started the digging. What that video also proved is that you can't change nature, no matter how many sequels this franchise gets. Like take this video for example, where this polar bear went viral for seemingly petting a husky in Canada. The biggest meat eater in the world on legs and even he can't help himself, adorable right? The part that didn't go viral was immediately after when the polar bear proceeded to send the dog to dog backwards by attacking and eating it, all while the dog was chained up and couldn't even run. Hey, remember, you chose the red pill. The point is, there are rules in nature, and every time we cosplay as creator and break them means one less dog, one confused tiger, and a bunch of pigs that are gonna have one hell of an identity crisis. But sometimes nature breaks rules all on its own, and all it leaves us with are questions. Kamunyak was a lioness living in the Samburu Reserve in Kenya who had become famous worldwide in 2002 for violating the number one rule of being a lion. The lioness was seen with a young, as in not older than a week old, oryx calf. She didn't turn the calf into calories, instead she acted as his bodyguard, following it around everywhere and even defending it from other animals attempting to meal prep it. The lioness had adopted something that any other day would have just been protein. And this time humans had nothing to do with it. Tourists would flock in from all over to witness this disrespect to the natural order and even after seeing it with their own eyes they still didn't believe it. Kamunyak only confused rangers the more they watched her. At one point she squared up with a group of cheetahs for looking at the oryx calf the wrong way. She would literally starve herself for the calf's sake. She couldn't go out and hunt for herself since the little oryx calf would just wander around aimlessly instead of staying hidden in one place the way an actual lion cub would. So for the more than two weeks these two were together, she just didn't eat. I can only imagine what the other lions thought. This was basically like a man walking into an orphanage and then leaving with a Big Mac in a stroller. Like that time Spongebob <laughs> had an entire relationship arc with something he grills for a living. It's just one of those things like Mandy smiling or EDP foster momming a cupcake and not eating it. It just breaks the natural order. One day, Kamunyak and her little calf went to get water and in the short amount of time her back was I turned, seen EDP a on live and on gave TikTok. her a live demonstration. <laughs> live. I don't know if it's action. real or not, but it's so weird. So yeah, no more baby. And the lioness that had nearly starved herself to death for it acted like any mother would after losing a cub of her own. And the rangers watching it all go down had no no way of explaining it. Now, the baby oryx calf being chill with its number one op in the first place actually isn't that crazy. There's a good chance it was probably just too young to even know what fear was. Like when a baby wildebeest was filmed playing with a hyena cub as if his family reunion wouldn't dissect and eat him alive. That is until its mother pulled up and bro remembered who he was and dipped. <laughs> but a predator playing parent to prey is where rules get broken. It's something you'd expect from Disney and, like in Disney, it probably started from a family member getting murked. Kamunyak apparently had cubs of her own, and a violent dispute in the pride meant she lost it, likely to a new rival male. And with as young as she was, this was likely her first litter, and after losing them so brutally and hormones still running high, she probably didn't know what else to do. So it's possible that the calf imprinting on the lioness caused a motherly instinct to override to turn you into take out and smoke you like a Marlboro instinct. At least that's just my guess, cause no one thought to ask the lioness what was going through her head. And this might have been her first time, but this wouldn't be her only. This would happen not once, not twice, not even a hat trick, but Kamunyak the lioness would adopt six different oryx calves. Also, I feel like I should just mention, at this point, she was going out of her way to follow her just so she could steal any unattended minors. And it wasn't like she just didn't realize that these weren't lions, because oftentimes she would let the newborn calf nurse from its actual mother before running her off. And in case you're curious about what happened to the rest of her foster kids, the second one was intercepted by park rangers and taken to an animal orphanage in Nairobi. The third calf actually returned to its mother, and during a nursing session, pieced out with the rest of its herd, even with Kamunyak chasing after them to get her baby back. Same thing happened with the fourth with the mother oryx managing to reunite with her baby. And I can only imagine this made her learn her lesson in the worst way possible because she didn't let the fifth calf return to its mother and the end game was the calf going into a permacoma due to starvation, which Kamunyak would respond to by eating the soul evacuated body. And adoption number six went like three and four with the kidnapped calf hightailing it back to his bio mom. And remember, she would go on a hunger strike for the entire time she was looking after each one. And I'd love to tell you that this story ends with Kamunyak finally getting an actual family of her own, except she was last sighted in 2004 and no one's been able to find her since. So if this was a movie, it'd be Lion King's troubled teenage cousin. And it's not the only time this kind of thing would happen. In 2015, a film crew was focused on a herd of wildebeest along with one lioness stalking them from the grasses. Fun fact, lions will often spawn wipe their prey by attacking the ones that have just given birth. So when the lioness made her move and the mother wildebeest dipped, it looked like it was about to be a revolving door for the baby right back to the gulag. Except that's not what happened. The apex predator hesitated on what would have probably been her easiest meal in months. 
and the literal minutes old wildebeest started nuzzling up to the huge cat, as if the same line that wasn't finna take him off this world was the one that brought him in. And I don't know if it was that famous new baby smell, or if the fetus not showing any fear factory reset the line software, but not only did she spare him, after a little while she left, and the still wet from the womb wildebeest calf reunited with its mother. And unlike with Kamunyak, this lioness was 100% trying to catch a body, but something made her stop and I have no idea why. At least with a calf, it's probably too young to know to run away and just saw the lion as a warm body. But an animal deciding to pretty much pardon something it's eaten hundreds of in its life is something science can't 100% explain. And before y'all say she must have felt bad for the baby, there's literally videos on YouTube of lions life depriving pregnant animals, pulling the fetus out and eating both alive. Or I guess technically only one of them's alive. I guess there is a chance a lioness was trying to use the baby as bait to mark its bigger, more fulfilling mother. And some articles think it's their version of playing with their food, like a cat and mouse kind of thing. But like, that still doesn't explain how a cat that can eat 15 pounds of meat a day would lose interest in free calories that fast. And the stories just keep coming. In fact, just last year, a lioness was caught on camera looking like it was escorting a baby wildebeest calf back to its herd with the little guy following him the way he would with his bio mom. So I don't know, maybe when a lioness loses her cubs, the motherly instinct is so strong she'll project it on anything. Or maybe lions are realizing that chasing and catching their groceries is too much work and now they're trying the factory farming strat. But a lion treating food like family wasn't the only time a major rule of cat culture was broken. Like I want you to and take a good look at this picture. This might look like nothing special, but let me give you some background. A lion's main goal in life is to pass down his genes as much as possible to keep his bloodline alive. The catch okay. is, whenever a rival male or males take over a pride, the first yeah. thing they do is commit severely late term abortions on any awesome spring that aren't theirs. Scar actively yeah. tried to put Simba on a t-shirt was scientifically accurate, although if it was 100% he would have wiped out Nala too. <laughs> But yeah, long story short, right. a new stepfather usually means caskets for any remaining cubs. Which is exactly what this male did. After he and another male took over a pride, he proceeded to give every cub a welcoming gift of a pair of wings and a halo. Every cub, except for that one. That's not his kid, and he knows it. Not only was he seen sparing op DNA, he was even photographed playing with the cub. I was gonna say, also, male tigers, I mean, male actually. lions would Man's just nearly lost his entire this. gene pool and got all his women snatched from him but just to have his own chromosomes I guess they will. the lion that did it. And I just know bro watching from the gulag like, Ain't no way. Now, new males don't always go Casey Anthony on the children. Sometimes lionesses are able to fend off the newcomers, and sometimes the lions don't even bother with cubs that are nine months or older, i.e. cubs past the nursing phase. But like, that's the thing. That cub is definitely young enough to get turned into a rug. And being cute with someone else's kid goes against basically everything we thought we knew that's about That's crazy. It's not just dude, lions defying just... nature. Male, male lions tigers usually want no parts in raising Come children. through, wipe the old, the old bloodline off and create his. That is that have crazy. have enough of a full-time job looking after themselves. But there was at least one tiger that broke this rule and his name was P243. You see, our boy P243 had a mate, and that was P213-32. I, I didn't come up with the name. I was like, bro, why are we talking to him like they androids from Dragon Ball? Like, what? The two were together for over two years, and 243 was never seen with another tigress because we love a faithful king. But his mate suddenly died, and it clearly had an effect on him. He spent hours sitting at the place his mate of many years passed, and when the tigress was cremated, P243 was on a scene less than an hour later. She didn't just leave him behind, but also four cubs. Normally, losing a mother that young means the orphans would soon get to go see her, but P243 did what we've rarely seen a male tiger or really any male big cat for that matter, do. He stepped up. After that, P243 would often make kills, but leave the food behind for the four cubs who were too young to hunt for themselves. One time, the father caught a full-grown cow and left it behind without taking any for himself. And whenever the forest department would see the four cubs, the father would never be too far away. Obviously, there isn't a mystery as to why he did this. I mean, there were his kids. But it also managed to break what we thought were the rules of being a male tiger. Because as dark and messed up as it sounds, it would actually make more sense to just cut losses and try again with another female. Instead of taking the time to raise kids that might not make it in the end when you really could just make more. Especially since 10 days after his mate died, trackers found him near another female. But the relationship didn't go anywhere and the two weren't seen together again. Meanwhile, 243 continued looking after his cubs. There were even a few reports that the tiger had started teaching his cubs how to hunt. Now, there is no way of knowing for sure the cubs make it after all that, but according to the latest update I could find, all four cubs are still alive, healthy, and active. Which would be great numbers even if they had a mother, but going 4 for 4 even after getting bambied, well, 
That's not supposed to happen. At this point, every breath they take Bro, is so weird watching Cubs Mr. grow up to me. For that. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Be sure to check out my TikTok and Instagram for more consistent uploads in between videos. And if you'd like to support this channel beyond subscribing, my Patreon's also going to be in the description. But as always, it's only if you have like extra money you're not going to miss. Don't give anything you don't need. You watching this video all the way through and allowing me to do this for a living is already much appreciated. All in all, make sure you drink water, hug your mother, tell your father you appreciate him. If you ever see something like this on Tinder, beg his pardon, hit him with the left like hard and I'll see y'all. I've never seen that. In the next one. Video from Pets World. Bro, I haven't been to a zoo in so long. Oh yeah, bro. It seems like it seems like, bro. Cubs. One minute they small. Next minute they full grown. Like I never really seen a dog grow up. Like I don't remember it, bro. Like even when I had like puppies for dogs, like it was like one day they was just big all of a sudden. It's so weird. But dang. Interesting to see lions not kill a easy kill like a cub. I don't know, it's weird. It probably most likely has to do with the tiger losing its own and it's like, yeah, bro. I I need something to cook with this pain. But that's going to do it. If you're new, like, comment, subscribe, like I said. If you enjoyed, subscribe, like. And we're going to keep learning interesting things each time we upload. See you on the next one. Peace.